Welcome to Bulgaria, the EU's poorest member state and one of the world's fastest shrinking populations. But it's not all doom and gloom. There is growing movement of young Bulgarians returning home. I came back to Bulgaria because there are so many social issues I want to work on. I chose Bulgaria because I can do everything I love and I can develop a country. Bulgaria is the only place for me where I feel comfortable, comfortable and comfortable. I'm Axel Zajmovic and I'm in Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria, to find out what is driving young Bulgarians to come back. I was one of those people who immigrated once. I uh, left Bulgaria to go study and um, I was an athlete once and I, I went to the US with a sports scholarship. I left the country because I wanted to, to see that my, to see this other option for me. Meet journalist Petya Kartikova. A few years ago, she packed her bags in Chicago to move back to her native Bulgaria. She's the creator and host of The Returnees, a TV show featuring stories of successful Bulgarians who lived abroad but have returned to make a difference. I take my job as a mission. I wanted to be the voice of those people who once left the country and who now come back. I'm happy to say that there are more and more coming back here and I believe Bulgaria needs that fresh power, you know. So that's what inspired me and it keeps me going for four years now. I love my country and I love when young people are coming back and people like Petya must, must continue uh, spreading the, the good stories, the positive people, because at this time, like we are living in very, very bad times nowadays, uh, we need the people who make good to other people. Petya's mission to show Bulgarians that there is a future in the country is a mighty one. The nation's population stands at 7 million and it's shrinking fast. The UN estimates Bulgaria will lose nearly 25% of its population by 2050. Only Bulgaria and Lithuania have such a stark projection. We're going to meet the founders of Studio Zmei. That's an animation and storytelling studio founded six years ago. Their main goals are developing the local animation industry, but also bringing talented professionals back to Bulgaria by offering some really cool projects to work on. I was living in London, I had a very nice job, uh, which paid very well, and I could stay there and live very comfortably and develop uh, a nice career in this very big foreign company that would be probably one of the best places that I could work and develop in, in my field. Creative director Dimitar Petrov says he came back to Bulgaria to make a difference. We were exporting a very negative image of Bulgaria and the Balkans in general, especially at that time. Uh, that was shortly after Bulgaria and Romania entered the EU. So there was like a huge scare that uh, Bulgarian immigrants are coming to take your jobs and you know, steal your homes and stuff like that. And it was very, it was very sad because I, I saw this kind of, this was influencing how people would uh, react to you. We have a fantastic culture and fantastic folklore that we can export and we can show to the world and we can use it to build value and to contribute in some way. But locally, no one was kind of doing that. Dimitar and his team designed The Golden Apple, the first animated series based on Balkans legends. The series turned out to be a success. It also became a launch pad for students studying animation. It's our way to um, take the best from people that we want to hire and to, to teach them the best practices that we want them to practice in the studio. Uh, we found out that people that, uh, that are uh, studying animation in Bulgaria are not super well prepared in practice. So we decided that it's better for us to train them uh, with the programs that we use, with the uh, software, with uh, everything that they need to know. Here we can actually build something that has a real impact. If we give a choice to someone who is graduating high school now, 
if they, if they can work in animation here or abroad. And like, even if it's just a few people, I would think that would be enough of proof that what we're doing makes sense. The numbers of Bulgarians returning has skyrocketed. In 2018 alone, over 30,000 made their way back to their native country. But not everyone is optimistic. Bulgaria is still very far away. We're still the poorest country in the EU by far. In order to be successful in the Bulgarian labor market, you need to have at least professional education of some sort, if not tertiary. This is the, the situation that we found ourselves in right now. But the latest trend is linked to the ongoing pandemic. It has fueled the reverse migration. Exiled professionals seeking work abroad are returning home. This is Hristo Bojadziev. He runs Tuktam, a non-profit from Sofia who links the Bulgarian diaspora with their homeland and helps them resettle. We definitely saw hundreds of thousands of Bulgarians come back to Bulgaria last year because of COVID. Now, nobody is officially certain how it's going to go from, from this point on, you know. My best estimate is that most of the people that came back uh, probably lost, obviously lost their jobs in wherever they were around Europe. My guess is those guys, or 90% of those people, will return abroad. The grass is not always greener. People here say Bulgaria is not a paradise either, but there is an opportunity to create a seat at the table. I think there are a lot of smart people trying to do good by Bulgaria, and they've been caught on, a, on the wrong side of a, of a difficult transition in a democracy, which has taken a little bit too long, or, you know, too long than we expected. Bulgaria has, has moved in the right direction. We are far better off than we were you know, 15, 20 years ago. They came back and they started like really developing different point of view here. They're changing the narrative, they're changing the, the way of how we look at things. For many Bulgarians, the dream of living abroad is coming to an end. Since the homeland's becoming more appealing, they say it's time to live the Bulgarian dream. Axel Zaimovic, TRT World, Sofia.